Hi, I'm Hannah from Singletrack, and you're joining me here live for a voyage of discovery. Uh, we're going to find out what is in the box in front of us. Um, I know basically what's in here. There's a fork, uh, and it's the Trust Performance Message fork, which is definitely unusual. But beyond that, I've no idea, okay? I'm not gonna go into full technical detail or any technical detail really about this fork because we're gonna have a closer look at it later uh, over on singletrackworld.com. Uh, but the tester for this fork is coming this afternoon uh, to pick it up. So we need to get it out the box, uh, get it photographed and, and get it out the building and into the mud or indeed the snow as we've got outside the studio right now. So let's have a look, what have we got? It's a big box, first of all. First thing we can see is it is twice the size of a normal fork box. And the second thing we can see, which is very important, is that it matches my jumper. So this, this jumper is available from singletrackworld.com in the shop. So yeah, who, who did the design first? I'll put my clothes back on now, it's quite cold. Right, so turn it round. Oh, on the back here. Welcome to the new world of wide open, it says. They're quite big on um, marketing and, and waffle. I'm sure it's all meaningful waffle. Right, got to try and get this thing out. It says, printed using earth-friendly soy ink. Okay then. Oh, I don't know how to get it out. This is, this is live. Ugh. I don't want to just turn it all the way upside down and break it or anything, that would be bad because because it is $2,700 worth. Oh, look, I've got an assistant over there now. Pull! Oh, get out! There we go. Well, inside the box is a box. That's good news. Right, let's find the top. Things are rattling. There we go. Is this the top? It's got, it's got Velcro. More welcome to the world of wide open. Oh, there we go. Should we use this camera and then people can see inside? Yeah. <laughs> so um, there we have a fork. Uh, it's not a telescopic fork, obviously. It's a four bar linkage design. So let's see how we get it out, out of the box. Ooh, this could be interesting. It's got cable ties in it did tell you this is a voyage of discovery and it is truly live i i have done nothing i have not looked in this box at all Whew. it's quite well packaged i don't know how you get it out of there this 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 could this could be a short broadcast if i can't get it out let's see it's sort of attached at the bottom we might need to find some cable ties, some, some snippers. I think that all the tools are in this corner of the studio and my helpful assistant is going for a little look. I can hear the, uh, the tearing of Velcro. Oh look, what have we got? We've got two possible, two possible tools. Now you're going to see me using tools live on air, which is generally something I would avoid doing at all costs. Here we go. Snip. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> See, I told you, tools shouldn't be used live on air. And, and people should pretend to do opening packaging as well. Uh, rather than really opening packaging live on air. Let's see. It's, it's well packaged, shall we say. Uh. Mark. Is there, a, is there a helpful remote assistant? Let's have a look. Uh, I might have got one. Got That's one? A, yes. Here we go. This is the cameraman. <laughs> and helpful assistant. Just grip it and twist it. Grip it. I know, but I don't want to scratch it or break it. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Have you got one off? I've got one off. All right, squeeze the heck out of it. <laughs> yes. So a blade, well, a blade would be good, yes. I hope everyone is enjoying me using tools live on air because, you know, oh, it's definitely something 
to be <laughs> don't work with animals, children, or tools. <laughs> I've got one. Go on, see if you can do the other I, one. Well, if you've loosened it for I me. don't. <laughs> so, so yes, this fork has come all the way from America, hence probably the good packaging levels. Um, and we only just picked it up at Core Bike. You released it, do you think? I think that might be released. I'll admit, I needed a man to help me at that point. No. <laughs> He's going, no, no, I did. So, it's released. Woohoo! We can get it out. So, I mean, it's, it's, what do you make of that? It's like, it's like a dinosaur. Right, let me move, move those tools out of the way. Let me move this box over here for the time being. We'll come back to the box. I think there's more in there by the feel of it. And let's put the fork over here. So, I'll turn it around like this and you can see this so it's a four bar linkage design i know that much we've got a, a first ride review of it from burn broody on the, the single track website and um so she rode it before it was launched um one of the very few journalists who were able to ride it um and the, the reviews of this are only just starting to emerge not many people have had one on test and as far as i know this is the first one in the uk so uh we're going to go and dip it in some mud and see how it gets on. Um, so what have we got? Got stickers saying to air fill to body weight. So you, it's a C setup guide for info. That seems like a good idea to read the instructions on something that's completely new and invented recently. Um, and yeah, so you fill it up with air to match your body weight. That sounds fairly simple. I'm not telling you what PSI I'd put in. Um, maybe you have to alter it as well if you eat pies on the route. So, yeah, trust performance fork. Now, I said they're quite big on uh, blurbs and marketing. It says here on this sticker, remove before flight. So, not riding, but flight. Um, it promises, I'm going to just pick a bit off the website, rip through corners, charge through chunder, ride harder and faster than you ever thought possible. This is the message. Suspension, unlike anything you've ever known. A ride, well, unlike any other. There you go. I mean, how can you argue with that? Right, I'm going to move over there. Let's see what else is in the box. It's trees, pretty trees. I'm, gonna, I'm quite nervous about that. I'm going to move that over there. Because, you know, I don't want to break it. So, there's definitely something else in here. And I can hear Velcro. Oh yes, I can see Velcro. In my soy ink printed box. You can probably hear Velcro, it's quite noisy. That bit's coming. Oh, right, one empty box. Put that back there. Get out and make the most of it, it says. No more excuses. Okay, I'll stop making excuses. Sorry. It's in here. This is quite serious packaging. I suppose if you spent $2,700 on a fork, you want proper packaging and some extra treats. So let's see what's in here. Chocolate, maybe? Be nice, wouldn't it? Little trail snack. The map. Oh, this is. Uh, need more tools. Need more slicey things. Fingernails. Yeah. Okay. Note to self. Bring knives. This, this is the wrong tool for the job. Definitely. So my assistant has gone off in search of the appropriate tool for the job. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and improvise. Am I in? No, I'm not in. I'm nearly in. Oh. There. This is supposed to be like a tool-free, low-tech, quick look in a box. I haven't done the other end. Let's try the other end as well. Oh, I've got a sharp thing now. Excellent. Good. Good planning there. 
So, yeah. Honestly, when I'm in the workshop, everything goes so much more smoothly. It doesn't take me hours to do anything simple at all. No. Right. Trust. I like the trees. Ooh. I thought for a minute that that was a kind of hip flask set. But no. What have we got? Talk key? There must be some things on there that might need tightening. That's nice. Just come, yeah. come over here. Classic. There we go, so you can all see it. Classic. Right. Mm. So, yes, talky. Cool, useful. Um, looks like the headset. Yes. Headset. And pump, because you have to pump it up. So. Um, yes, you need to, I think it's got two air shafts that you need to pump both of them up to the same PSI, is what I remember from reading the review, which you should go and read on singletrackworld.com after this. Um, or now, if you're bored, that's fine. So, yep, shock pump that says something on it, G140. What else have we got? More. Ooh. What's that? This looks like we're going to build our own aeroplane. It did say prepare for flight. What is it? Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to, have to put that on the on the. Can you see that if I put that on there? Yeah. So I think this is like every cable guide thing you could possibly want. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of want that. Can I just have that and not the fork and just keep that? Yeah. I think that is that some little rubbing tape prevention, rub tape prevention stuff? Yes. And yeah, every kind of guide. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. What else have we got in the bag? Instructions. I'm not reading them. Someone else can read them. There's some stickers for, I don't know, sticker in your bike, your garage, some lower link protectors and other assorted protectors. Plenty of gubbins in this box. Mm. I'm not entirely sure what those are. But they say they say trust on all of them, so they're you know, made for them. I don't know what they are. I'm not going to read the instructions right now. Mm, nope. A setup guide and an owner's guide. And, ooh, hairpins. There we go. Make sure you've got really good hair while you're riding. I'm sure that's what those are. I have no idea. I told you, I'm not doing a technical look at this. We're just looking to see what is in the box. And, and there we go. That's what we discovered is in the box. Uh, lots, lots of things. And uh, we will be doing a whole bunch of photographs of this now. We're going to get it up on singletrackworld.com as a first look. Um, and then we're going to get somebody out to ride it on our local trails. So the, the test that we had before, uh, that took place before the launch, was in America, uh, in Utah, where this fork has come from, um, on trails that you know, aren't familiar to us and conditions that are quite unfamiliar to us as well, like, like dry, for example. Um, so we're going to get our tester to go out, give us some first ride impressions on, on terrain that we know well, and then, um, yeah, kind of put it through the mill a bit, give it a bit of a lick of mud. And, um, and see how it gets on. So, for all the technical stuff, tune in to singletrackworld.com. For all those of you who just have a fetish about opening boxes, um, provide me with some tips in how to do it better next time, like pen knives and that sort of thing. So there you go, that really was live. You could tell, can't you, by how slick it was, that it was live. <laughs> there you go, thanks for joining us. Hop on over to singletrackworld.com and uh, check out all the other stores we've got. Cheers. Bye.